Clinton Jaws, there's a website out there called ClintonJaws.com. ClintonJaws.com. I'm a little worried. Going to be honest with you, I'm a little worried. Talking about this, it's very sensitive. And I, I feel alone because nobody's taking my thought. Nobody's talking like I am. I'm looking for people to stick up for this police officer. Nobody is. Everybody's against this cop. Everybody's against what this police officer had to say. And it makes me think like, why do you, do you have a problem with what the words that this cop said, Clint? That's what I'm asking myself. And I'm like, maybe there's something wrong with me because I don't, I don't see it. I don't see what the problem is. Maybe I need somebody to tell me this is the problem. This is why you can't say these things. So yeah, I'm going to dig into this. I'm going to dive into this. I'm the only voice. There's no, every other opinion is against me. And I'm going to start it with this. I'm going to start it with this. Okay. I want you guys to know that I love, I love immigrants. Okay. I love them. Okay. I, 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 I probably, yes, I have. I've, uh, I've, I've sexually touched immigrants before, okay? Uh, when they let me. So I love them. I had, I had two immigrants in my wedding, okay? Two, Im- two immigrants in my wedding. We diversified our wedding party. We had one boy immigrant and one girl immigrant. And I don't know. I don't know what the right terminology is. We made it equal. What do you call it? Equity? Inclusive? I don't know. Okay. And just for the record, I mess I message my immigrant. This is so stupid, I just realized it. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna start it. I messaged an immigrant female that I used to work with and love to death. And she disagrees with me. Okay. She doesn't like. I'm gonna show you the video clip of what this police officer said. She doesn't like what he said. She didn't like, okay, I'm not going to give it away, okay? The point is I'm all alone. Do you guys know who Jody Vance is? I think she used to be on TSN. Who wasn't in love with Jody Vance, right? She has her own little TV show going on right now. And I'm going to show you a clip of what she said about this police officer. I'm going to tell you what the mayor of Trail said about this police officer. I'm going to tell you what the police said about this police officer. He's racist. Okay, this cop is apparently racist. Do you want to see the video? This is the video he made. This there's a cop there was there's a cop in trail who's now working from home. He's in trouble. He got in big trouble. Hot water, he got into some hot water. He had a website. I started thinking about myself. I'm like, when are they gonna come for me? He had a website and he started uh I don't know, almost posting SNL Saturday Night Live skits. Here's a picture of his website. It's all taken down. It no longer exists. Got a code of conduct against him, I'm guessing, but you can guarantee that he does because the RCMP are livid with him. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to read the article yet. I'm not going to tell you what the mayor said. Let's just go straight down to his video. To another episode of the Church of Trudeau. If you haven't noticed, I'm excited because I want to share with you some information that was released not too long ago. The Liberal government plans on bringing one here. Wait a wait a second. Wait a second. 1.5 million new immigrants to Canada over the next three years. That means we potentially could have 1.5 million. New liberals. Oh, I'm, I don't, I'm so excited. Our church needs the support. The liberal government needs the support. Justin Trudeau needs and deserves. He deserves the support. This is amazing. It, it is our hope, the church of Trudeau, we believe that all of the immigrants that come over will recognize that the one true political party in Canada to vote for is a liberal government obviously there's no one else to vote for okay not funny clint then then why do i why did i find that funny maybe i'm a sicko 
because I'm not allowed to find that funny. I'm, I'm supposed to find that offensive. I showed this to, okay, my woman. She has Asian inside of her. She, she looks more Irish than anything, but she's got Asian inside of her body. And I showed it to her, and she laughed. And then I told her the story. And she's like, yeah, yeah, Clint, you can't talk like that as a police officer. Okay, fair enough, whatever. Okay, but isn't it funny that you can't have an opinion as a police officer? You can't, you can't tell anybody that you're liberal or conservative, that you got to keep it all hush-hush. That's another story for another day, I guess. But here's my point. I mean, I wrote down what he said. It means we could potentially have 1.5 million liberals. To me, he's not against immigration. And what if he was, okay? Not everybody is for immigration. But he's not saying he's against immigration. He just does. He's making a joke, guys. Why, Clint? Did he state a fact? Did he, was he lying when he said this? Before I get into that, maybe we should just skip to... Uh, I, I want to show you what the mayor said about this, and then I want to show you what Jody Vance said about this. His website pokes fun at the Prime Minister, LGBTQ issues, and immigration policy. I guess those things you're not allowed to poke fun at. I guess that's off the table. You can't poke fun of it. You can't make a joke. You can't be a comedian at Yuck Yucks making a joke about that. Because it's going to offend somebody. Here's the mayor. We are taking it very seriously. Okay. The website's contents are concerning, according to trail mayor Colleen Jones, who I, who I emailed three days ago and who never, just ignored me. Didn't even bother to get back to me. She says she's had multiple conversations with the trail RCMP to detachment commander about it. So she's complained multiple times about it. To cancel him, to get him taken down. She didn't. Her, the words offended her. It's definitely not anything a community wants. Really? I mean, I wouldn't care. Why, why would I care? If some cop made a joke about liberals, do you not understand what he's saying? He has nothing against immigrants. He's just saying, please, don't vote for Trudeau. Sometimes there's certain police officers that don't want you voting for Trudeau. There's some people that don't want him running the country anymore. I want everybody to know that we're taking it seriously and that the officer in question is currently working from home and will continue to do so until the investigation is complete. And when I read that, I went, wow. Did the RCMP come out and already say that he's not working? That he's working from home? And when his code of conduct is over, then he could come back into work? Because it sounds like, and maybe I'm wrong, this is a CBC article, who hunted this guy's name down and printed it. But it sounds like the mayor just outed him. Told the media, told everybody, hey, he's not even allowed to come into work. He's working from home. And if that's the case, if that happened to me, I'd be suing somebody. And she's just a mayor. Who, well, that's all she is, is a mayor. Like, who does the mayor think she is? Obviously a liberal mayor. And she's, I, I know what she's thinking. She's thinking, she can, he can't police. He can't police trail now. Because he said those words. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. This is what Jody Vance said about uh, this fella today, okay? We're just going to watch a couple of minutes. Okay, I've been looking forward to this segment because we're talking outrage and cancel culture and how... And by the way, huge fan, huge crush on Jody Vance. Who didn't have one, right? I don't know why I told you that. How <laughs> chaotic and, and vitriolic things can become. Everybody is like, ah! I am poised to be offended about anything. I want you guys to see that, okay? I just, they just can't believe that. Everybody's getting offended about everything. And their title is, Have We Reached the Peak of Outrage Culture? Okay, keep that in mind. 
for example. So I saw this photo that the Surrey Police Service tweeted out. It was really nice. A bunch of their officers from the community engagement team I had been it. collecting teddy bears to donate to Surrey Memorial. And I thought, it's a lovely, fun photo. And I tweeted back, how tall is that officer on the end, right? Yeah. And, I was wondering right? that. Everybody else was retweeting, yeah, me too, what was it? Well, that provoked this tweet from someone I don't know who is essentially mad. If he was five feet tall, would you comment? Seems weird that no one sees the issue with commenting on his body. Can't we focus on qualities that are within his control? Um, I, I didn't make, I didn't think that that was an offensive comment. It was clearly a fun picture of an officer who was doing good work. Officer, you know, it was just a fun, a fun comment on a picture. Stop being so offended, guys. I hear you. Who looks muscular and fit, and he was clearly much taller than his colleagues, and it was just a fun comment. Chill out. Chill out. I wonder if in that person's uh, bio it says, I do not give consent to be yeah, used probably. on the Steel and Vets show. Too like, late. <laughs> there are people who need to just calm down. Right. Here's a thing on social media. Here's an idea. If you don't like what someone's saying, scroll by. Scroll by them. Yeah. Mute them. Yeah. Block them if you're that uptight about it. <coughs> Mute them. Excuse it's, me. It's what Absolutely. that response, Linda, is ridiculous. Like I, I thought it was ridiculous. I would have clicked on Sarah and Tigsy and said, "Is this a troll? Is this a <coughs> bot Excuse account? Me. Like what is?" And couldn't agree more. How can you disagree with that? Let's fast forward a little bit, okay? They're going to show this clip of this police officer. And I want you to hear Vance's, what Vance has to say about it. Yeah, but Clint, it's a racist comment. That means we potentially could have 1.5 million new liberals. Oh, I'm, I don't, I'm so excited. So watching that video, I wonder to myself, and now aloud on TV because I have this platform and it's my freedom to say this out loud and I will take the consequences of this. That sounded really racist. Chill out, Jody. Calm down. Mute it. Okay, just scroll by. And that's when I thought I thought maybe maybe Jody's right. Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe I'm the weirdo. I didn't see it that way. I didn't see this guy trying to oppress a, a, a certain group of people. He's trying to be funny and say, the majority of immigrants, new immigrants, vote for Trudeau. That's what he's trying to say. And I wonder if they would have a problem. If, if she was at Yuck Yucks, and let's say Poliev was the uh, prime minister, okay? And Poliev, he ordered 5 million immigrants to come over in the next three years. And the comic made a joke. Of, I can't make the joke because I'm not that funny, but said something like, oh, it looks like Poliev's trying to buy his uh, conservative votes. We got a bunch of conservatives coming from over the border. You know, everybody laughs. They're not going to laugh at that because it's not funny. But would she be offended by that? You know what I mean? If the roles were reversed? I don't think so. I don't know. I wasn't offended. No, I think my parents were immigrants. I don't even know. I don't even pay attention to it. But I was not offended with that, what that police officer said. And I didn't see it as racist. He didn't say it was against immigration. He said, we could potentially have 1.5 million liberals voting for Trudeau. That's what he's saying. And is that wrong? That's Isn't that something? Right? Calm down. Scroll ahead. You're racist. The, and, 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 and I love her, but you just throw that word around. Seems like everybody's racist nowadays. You just throw it around. That's, the, that's a hell of a label to give somebody. Like, can you think of anything really worse? You just throw it out there without even dissecting what was said. But maybe she did dissect it. And yeah, maybe I'm way off. NDP. Anyways, guys. I mean, she, I guess she answered her question, right? What was the name of the title? What was the name? Have we reached peak outrage culture? Not yet. <laughs> Let's just keep on going. <laughs> Chill out. Calm down. Okay. Let's dissect it this way. I'm almost done, but I just want you to see this is important. And this video was supposed to be five minutes long. And I'm nervous to post it. 
He said, it means we could potentially have 1.5 million liberals. Now, would it make any difference if that comment was factual? Let's say he told the truth. Let's say that was the truth. That, we're, that we could potentially have 1.5 million liberals. If it was a fact, is it still racist? Let's find out. Let's find out if it was a fact. Let's find out if it is a fact. So I Googled it, okay? This is what came up. Writings with most immigrants voted liberal by a landslide. Immigrant voter surge elected Trudeau. Trudeau government permit 2.8 million non-residents to vote. Did you guys even know that? I didn't even know that. Justin Trudeau uses immigration to create a liberal dictatorship. Let's just click on one. Donald Trump beware. Just as election data suggests, a surge of Latina voters in the U.S. is backing the Democratic Party. A recent Canadian government study shows it was a wave of minority support that helped sweep countries anti-Trump Justin Trudeau to power a year ago. Rates spiked in particular among Canada's, some of them, recent immigrants. It took his Liberal Party from third place to first in the 2015 election. About one in five Canadians are foreign-born, the highest rate in the group of seven countries. The Trudeau campaigned on increasing intake of Syrian refugees. And let me tell you guys something. I don't blame anybody for trying to get into this country. I would try to get into this country. And if I got into this country, I'm going to be voting for Trudeau because he let me into the country. So I don't blame any of them. Voting for Trudeau makes sense. But there's some people that believe that he's increasing immigration to get votes. That's what some people believe. What Now, if this cop believes that, is that so terrible? Is that so horrific? Do we call him racist because of it? And did he lie? Is this a lie or is this a fact, what he said? Because according to this, a lot of immigrants, maybe the majority of them, they vote for Trudeau. Another study. Canada's voting rates among recent immigrants rose by 14, 14 percentage points. Voting rates spiked for recent immigrants from Africa, Middle East, and Western C Central Asia. Overall turnout in Canada of recent immigrants rose to 70% in 2015 from 56%. If this guy said the truth, then how can you call him racist? If you're against immigration, is that racist? Well, let's see how racist Canada actually is. If we're going to go down that road. If we're going to agree with that statement. That, yeah, if you're against immigration, you're racist. Titled, Why the Country Wants to Bring in 1.5 Million by 2025. It's actually 2 million. I think they upped it. But I want you to hear this. Different parts of Canada also have different attitudes towards immigration. Hmm? When the government announces aggressive targets up to 500,000 new immigrants a year, the province of Quebec said it would not take in more than 50,000 a year. That would mean that Quebec, which has 23% of the country's population, would only be taking 10% of the country's immigrants. Racist, right? It has to be. If we're going to go to the logic of everybody else, Quebec doesn't want to listen to that. They don't like that target? How dare them? And what's the reason? It would weaken the French language language in the province. I guess that's a good reason. I don't know. Already at 50,000, it is difficult to stop the decline of the French. Okay. Toronto and Vancouver have afford, affordable housing cri crisis. Well, that makes sense. Where are they going to live? Right? You're not allowed to say that, I guess. Because I'm going to be, even though they said it, they, they documented it. Oh, they did a poll. 1,500 Canadians conducted a poll. Three out of four said they were somewhat or very concerned about the effect the new plan would have on housing and social services. Almost half said the targets were too high. 31% said that they were the right number. It sounds like the majority of people are saying, hey, uh, I think you're going a little bit too high with immigration. I'm going to make two, two more points and get out of here, guys. Okay, I don't know this police officer in trail. I don't know if he's a wingnut. I don't know. Any all I can tell you is that when I read that CBC, that's a CBC article, that's the only documentation I could go by. And when I viewed his video, I didn't see it 
as that big of a deal. The punishment that he is getting and about to get just doesn't seem right to me. And when people call him racist, that doesn't seem right to me. I don't know the full story. I don't. I haven't seen his other videos. Maybe he said he has said some outrageous, terrible things. I'm just telling you what I'm going by, and what Jody Vance went by. She's going by the same thing that I viewed. She thinks it's racist. I think it's uh, quite of a hell of a stretch to to label somebody racist because his words are. Wow, we're getting 1.5 million liberals. Great. To him, oh, great. I guess we're going to still have Trudeau kicking around. Because they're going to vote for Trudeau. He's not saying he doesn't like immigrants. Canadians divided on Ottawa's plan to admit more immigrants. Poll. The vast majority of Canadians are worried about how the federal liberal government's plan to dramatically increase immigration levels over the next few years will affect housing and government services. Canadians are right to worry about immigration levels. You know what, guys? I could go on forever and ever, just article after article after article, and I don't know if I proved my point. I talk for way too long. It's now going to be a 25-minute video. I don't know. When I see... Tell me. Am I wrong? Just tell me if I'm wrong. Was what he said so terrible? Maybe I have to rethink my thinking. But I don't know. I mean, don't we have a bunch of liberals coming to Canada now? If I was them, I would vote Trudeau. They got him here. Thank you, Trudeau. I'd be thanking Trudeau. I'd be wanting to vote for Trudeau. Um, I don't know. I guess it's, it's horrific when you say that. Did I not just say what he just said? You vote for whoever you want. I hope they don't. I hope they don't. I don't want to see Trudeau continuing to run this country. And I think that's what he was, this guy was, trying to say sarcastically guys okay calm down loosen up if you don't like what he said scroll by okay chill out What's that?